Hi, how are you? It's Trapsmear, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some leaders of the Bloodskull clan, and we collected their heads, and we also collected some split bone necklaces that we need to turn in today. And that is why we are heading over to Grumgall Base Camp. Motar. So let's go over there. For the whole. And then we'll do a couple of quests. I think we need to turn in two quests, actually. Yeah, only split bone necklaces. It's not too bad. And we're doing a little late night gaming today. Because maybe that will help us get into a Maradon. See how the late night dungeon groups like. We've been doing a lot of Stranglethorn Veil vale in the daytime, so I felt like switching it up. I've also been watching a lot of Elden Ring. I uh, haven't been playing it too much. Because I'm just playing a lot of other games right now. like <laughs> So you can tell on the channel. And uh, I think it would be just too much to do, man. That's a really challenging game. And I think I'll have to wait before I can jump into it. Once we get maybe some games completed. But I am really tempted to play it. Like, I want to play it. Because it uh, looks like a great game. Alright, so let's turn this quest in. Hey there. Bell Splitter will curse the day they brought us to war. Is your task complete? Your strength is great to have gained these necklaces, Travadin. Skull Splitter's fall to you like young saplings stomped to earth by basilisks. Your deeds are a boon to us. Alright, so let's take these boots that we will not use. Because we have better boots. Yeah, we're good on manas, and let's see if our bag space is looking not looking that great. So we what will uh, sell these boots and these pages. And this flask of mojo. I don't even know if wild vine sells that well. Troll sweat. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Solid stone. What else we got? A gyro chronatum. I think we need that for a quest. We got a swim speed pump. Get rid of this other troll stuff. And that should be it. Strength. All right, so I have a chat here with Farseer Mokthardin. Or Mokthardin. Mokthardin's enchantment. The power of the jungle magic must be realized and then harnessed by the horde. My rituals have proven successful so far. I can cast very powerful enchantments for you, brave paladin. I shall make a special item indeed. Bring me one of the Shadow Maw Panther's claws along the tiger's fang. Not just any fang will do, it must be in pristine condition. The beasts lurk throughout the jungle, but you will find some close by, just across the river from the Mizja ruins to the southeast. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be hunting some tigers and some panthers today. And we are going to start the Mukthairudin's enchantment quest chain. But yeah, back to uh, what I was saying about Elden Ring. It really looks like an amazing game. I might get game of the year. So I am very tempted to play it. It's just I'm playing so many games right now. That I kind of feel that I might not be able to uh, play enough to wrap my head around that game to actually get like decent at it. And you actually need to uh, play a bit to uh, get decent at that game. It is pretty challenging. And I've never played a Souls game before, so kind of a noob when it comes to those types of games. So it would take me some time to learn. But supposedly... What you can do is, um, you can somehow make it easier just by, like, leveling up, you know, just throughout the world, just traveling around, slaying stuff, exploring, because that is, like, an open world aspect to it, which is pretty cool. So I could just do that, but I would like to fight some bosses and, like, that are kind of somewhat make it challenging. 
But the problem with doing that is, is that an entire video would just be me dying to a boss. <laughs> Which is, I don't know. I've heard some crazy stuff, like some bosses have taken people like four hours, some people like two hours, like insane amount, amounts of time just to get a kill on a boss. Which is cool, which is the cool thing about uh, those types of games. As you can tell, I'm clearly really interested in the game, and, I, and you know what, I'm probably going to end up playing it. If I play it, I'll most likely just do... I'll most likely do a Let's Play. Because why not? I don't know when it's coming, though. I, I I need to stop starting new Let's Plays before I finish the other ones, though. Like, I I need to finish the, the Hunter. I keep playing, like, playing new games and getting about Trap and Trap, so I need to get that going as well. So we'll probably after we do that, I may uh, I may give um, Elden Ring a try. Okay, so where are we here? The Bali Ma ruins. We are looking for tigers and panthers. Can't seem to find any. And this pristine tiger's fang, I remember in Classic, it took me a very long time to get that. Like the Shadow Maw Claws, I got before I got the, to, the tiger fang. I also need to pay attention to these quests here that we currently have, which is uh, the Unholy Alliance be nice to bring that back before it turns gray so maybe we will head over to under city just for a little bit before we hit level 44 we got some time before that happens that's where we want to be now where the raptors are that across the river Just so many good games that have came out recently. It's been a really good month for games. I wonder what March will be like. I hope there's like no. I hope they just take a break, you know? Like, like all these games that I'm interested in just stop coming out. But we got time. Time is on our side. Okay, I think I'm going the right way now because this is where King Bangalash is. That is another elite that I have not been able to beat. I don't think we are able to beat him yet. I believe he's 45, right? There's a tiger's here. I had a pretty good um, raid. Uh, last raid, we did Mount Hyjal. And it was my first time using um, this elixir called Elixir of Demon Slaying. And it increases damage against demons. And it's uh, pretty damn good in Mount Hyjal and Black Temple because there is a lot of demon bosses in that, uh, in that raid. We are the same level as uh, King Bangalash. I still don't think we can beat him. We could give it a try. Should we give it a try? Yeah, why not? We'll give it a try. We'll see what we can do. I know he summons other cats, though. Let's see, it's like a certain level. Health. I think like half health. I don't know what the play will be there. 
maybe we can make Repentance one. Let's see how this goes. We're actually hitting him pretty hard there now. Oh, we got a Shadowmar Panther on us. Some... Oh, we're actually beating the crap out of this guy. And we're getting hit by a Shadowmar Panther. It's kind of weird. I'm going to reset this. If I can, damn it. Okay, well, we're probably not killing him now. It's stupid panther, dude. Get away from me! Look at all these panthers. We got him pretty low. I think we might be able to kill him pretty soon. Solo is paused. But we don't. We, we need lay on hands, hundred percent. And we can't be uh, pulling other cats. Like that wasn't even a part of uh, the fight. He summons tigers, I believe. I don't think he summons panthers. Especially if we go in with like a three stack of vengeance, I think we would totally wreck them. They did nerf elites in TBC. Okay, well, we already got the pristine daggers tank. That's pretty damn good. So now we're on the hunt for panthers. A little upset that we had to use uh, Divine Shield there. We could probably beat him. It really depends on how that last pull is like when he summons a bunch of tigers to attack us. When you really want to use Lay on Hands. Or at least, I think, Bubble and Heal. And then save your Lay on Hands and just try to go all in on him. So that's two claws. Can't wait till we get to uh, Outland. I know I've just finished leveling in Outland on Flag Carrier, but... I kind of... Uh, kind of miss it a little bit. It's actually a pretty fun place to level. But I think it was just really fun on Flag Carrier because we were playing on a, on a server that I could, had a good faction balance and there was uh, a lot of fun PvP moments. It's kind of sad that it, that it won't be like that in Wrath of the Lich King. Because uh, the servers, you know I've said this millions of times, but yeah, the servers now hoard, so... Look at this guy. He's just, like, protecting him. It's the panther. They just, like, hang out with him. Hundred percent you get rid of these guys first. They're, like, level 33. It wouldn't even take that long. Maybe he does summon them. They're, like, following him around. Maybe we can kill them now? Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll kill the panthers and we'll run away with Bubble, and then we'll come back and then we'll kill them. I wonder if that would work. You don't know until you try, right? As long as we don't pull anything else. No, not you. I want to fight the panthers. What the heck, that another panther? Bang! Oh, those are Bang! Yeah, it says Bangalash's buddy. Okay, I'm out of here. All right, how far can we run? We got five seconds. And we got one Panther. 
Yeah, it's a tough fight. His panther friends make it, uh... Make it tough. So we'll hop on our mount here. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to kill him today. But it should be coming soon. Just gotta make sure I clear out the area before I, uh... I fight him and then just... If I pull him by accident, I just make sure I only use, uh... Lay on hand. Oh, well, I only use bubble, actually, and then I save my lay on hands. Come on, get him. Alright, so one more claw. The drop rate on the claws have been pretty damn good. And the pristine tiger's bag. Usually these quests would take you like over like 30 minutes, maybe even 40 minutes, but TPC they've reduced it by almost half. I think that's why the TBC leveling is just so much faster. Not only is there a you know decreased um, I guess an XP nerf, but it's not really an XP nerf. Because I kind of consider uh, one to sixty in classic pretty much the same as uh, one to one to seventy in TBC. It's kind of how they made it. Which is cool. I'm fine with that. And I assume the, the 1 to 80 will probably feel like 1 to 70 in TBC. I wonder how much like changes are, are made from TBC to Wrath in terms of low level leveling. Probably not much at all. I assume most of the changes are, are end game related. There's one. Will this be our final claw? Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's uh, summon our warhorse. We finished that up, and I guess we'll head back to Crumgall Base Camp. It was kind of a shame that we were, had to use lay on hands. It would have been fun to have a solid attempt at fighting King Banglash, but kind of messed that up. 
But I think we did trigger a panther. These are mages. I don't want a priest and a warlock. Let's <laughs> go. Got those clothies wrong. Those are two classes I have never actually played on the channel that I never played in the future. Let's go looking for a wisdom buff. Here you go, man. Take the wisdom buff. You can always tell when they run up to you like that and it's a uh, signal for please buff me. Okay, so here we go. Strength and honor. What news do you bring? Your knowledge of the jungle is strong, Travadin. These specimens will be perfect. I will thank the spirits for sacrificing such fine beasts for the cause of the horde. All right, so it looks like there is a continuation of this quest. The items you gathered from the feline beasts of the Vale are only the first requirements for a powerful enchanted item. These jungle trinkets, combined with my shamanistic ritual, will provide you with a very useful tool in assisting the horde and the war chief. But now you must gather for me some jungle stalker feathers. The feathers are traditionally worn by the beasts on their armband. You will find a tribe of the rafters directly south of Grumgal, not far from the great Strike. arena. Okay, so let's uh, hearth out of here. And we probably will do that next episode. That will be the plan. And we will continue Mok Tharadun's enchantment. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.